Hi, my name's Cy Horton and I'm a senior sales engineer for Matterport. During this short video, I'd like to show you how we take data from mymatterport.com out as a point cloud and into Vectorworks. Once you've captured your space using a multitude of different hardware devices, that's then uploaded to the cloud. When it's been uploaded, we automatically generate what's called a matter pack. You can download the matter pack and it contains several files, including an OBJ file and an XYZ file. So basically a mesh and a point cloud file. And it's those files that we can use to take into various CAD solutions to start creating our 3D model. So as mentioned at the beginning, in this example, I'm going to be using Vectorworks to bring in our point cloud and then start to generate the 3D model using the point cloud as a template. I'm no expert in Vectorworks, but this workflow is very simple and very powerful to be able to create your 3D model. So first thing I'm going to do is create a new layer that I can put my point cloud on when I import it. It just means that as I manipulate things, it makes it a lot easier from a viewing perspective. Next, we need to go and import the point cloud. So we go to the file menu into import and in here we've got all the options to import. I'm going to use the point cloud option. Here's my point cloud that's downloaded from my matter pack and you can see it's an XYZ file. If I select that file, then it will bring up a number of options before we import. Now this isn't a particularly big file. It's three and a half million points within the point cloud and I can start to decide how much I want to decimate that point cloud before I use it within the environment. Here, just by using the slider bar, you can see that I can reduce the number of points. To be honest, with this particular point cloud, because it's not big, I'm going to keep all the points. So click on import. Now, depending on the size of your point cloud will depend on how long it takes to import the point cloud. But in this example, it's relatively small. So here you can see the point cloud looking at it from a plan view. It doesn't exactly look exciting, but a point cloud is basically millions and millions of dots. Let's take a look at this now in an isometric view and it will start to make more sense. So here is the space that's been captured as a point cloud. So all I need to do now is put some section cuts in so I can start to draft over the top of it. And in Vectorworks, we do that using the clip cube. By selecting the clip cube here, I can select the cube itself and then select any face and start to manipulate where the cutting plane is going to be. So I've selected the top there. Now I'm going to select the base. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit and drag that up. And here you can see, hopefully, we've got the outlines of a floor plan. The interesting thing here is it's all made up of dots. And you can see that my cursor is snapping to those dots as we move around. So as we start to use the tools in Vectorworks to trace over the top, it means that we're going to snap to the point cloud to create a very accurate 3D model. So I'm just going to go back to the top view. I'm going to make sure that I'm on my correct layer here. And then I'm going to choose the wall tool. A quick double click on that. I can make sure that I'm on the right layer. I can make sure I've got the right thickness. Click OK. And now we're ready to start drafting. So we're just going to start up here at this point. I'm going to start to drag a wall out. And you can see it's on the wrong side of my cursor. So I'm just going to flip that line over there, zoom out a little bit, and then just trace around. Now at this point here, I'm just going to cheat a little bit. This is actually a bay window, but you can see where mistakes in the scanning process have meant that the curtains were left drawn. So therefore the bay window walls can't be seen. So but just by tracing around that roughly, it will give you an idea of what the space actually looks like. So once I've got the majority of the walls in, the thing I'm going to do now is just make sure they're the right height just by changing that there. Now, I'm not going to bother to finish off the rest of it. I could go in, add in all the walls, the doors, the windows, and create a full 3D model. But there's really no point for the purposes of this video. But what we can show you now is when we go into isometric again, we'll just turn off that clip cube. And there you can see we've got walls and point cloud. So if I just isolate the point cloud off, you can see now we've got our 3D walls traced around our point cloud. So now we can start to embellish the model even further. So that's a simple workflow from doing your scanning, uploading it to Matterport, downloading your Matterpack, going into Vectorworks, importing the XYZ file, and then tracing over the top using the powerful tools within Vectorworks. Thank you for watching. I hope it's been of use.